Introduction to Vectors As you know, vectors have two components. One is magnitude and the other one is direction. Now here we are trying to understand how to represent direction of a vector. Right? So we have a few examples on bearing angles. So one of them, which is quadrant bearing, is what we are going to discuss in this video. Now as a reminder, a quadrant bearing is, let me sketch a quadrant, is a way to tell in which direction the vector is of north-south line. So that is what is quadrant bearing, right? And in quadrant bearing, always the angle is from 0 to 90 degrees. So that is a key thing. So we have to go off from north-south line. So we could go east or west. And quadrant bearing helps us to represent it. So we, here we have three different examples by which we will understand how to represent vectors when their quadrant bearing is given to us. A. V equals to 60 kilometers per hour at a quadrant bearing of 30 degrees east of south. That is how we read this, right? And as you know, quadrant bearing has three components. Now this tells us from north-south line, we are referring to which part? North or south? So that is the first part. 30 degrees is the amount of angle which it is off towards east or west, right? So that is what is meaning of S 30 degree E. We read it as, let me write it here, 30 degrees east of south. So that is how it is to be read and understood, right? So this will now help us to sketch our vector. Now the vector here given to us is 60 kilometers per hour at a quadrant bearing of 30 degrees east of south. Now this is east, right? So we have to move east from south by 30 degrees. That is what it means. So I'm making approximate sketch here. But I'll recommend you to use protector to draw the angles and a scale. Well, let me first define you the scale here also. So we'll define scale first. So whenever you are drawing geometric vectors, you need to define your scale. Let's say the scale for us is 1 centimeter equals to 20 kilometers per hour. So that becomes our scale. So what we will do is, we will represent an arrowhead whose length will be how much? 20 is 1 kilometers per hour, so 60 is going to be 3 centimeters. So whose length is going to be 3 centimeters. So in that case, 60 kilometers per hour should be equal to how much? 3 times, right? 3 centimeters. So the length of our arrow is going to be 3 centimeter and it is going to point in this direction that is 30 degrees east of south right so that's how we are going to sketch it so let me draw a line 30 degrees east of south so let's say this is approximately let me see dotted line right that is my dotted line 30 degrees east of south and then I say 3 centimeters let's say this is my 1 centimeter 2 centimeter 3 centimeters so that becomes my arrow, the geometric vector, which represents vector V. So now I can draw it like this, right? And that's the arrow, right? And I'll write down here V equals to 60 kilometers per hour, right? Vector V. Now in typing, we bold it. That means it's a vector. When we write, we may draw an arrow or put a bar on the top. Now here, as we see this angle, as you move from south to east is 30 degrees. 
will mention that 30 degrees so that is what part a is so we have represented here vector v equals to 60 kilometers per hour at a quadrant bearing of 30 degrees east of south so that's how we we do it right now part b and c my recommendation is that you should sketch the geometric vectors for the given description right and then check my answer so i like you to stop the video here sketch and then move on okay now here is my solution to part b so i'll not describe it to the extent i describe part a since you have understood all this now right so first step remind me what is the first step first step is to select the scale so we'll say our scale here is we need 5 centimeters okay so we can say well let the scale be 2 centimeters equals to 1 centimeter okay so in that case what will be 5 centimeters so I mean I should have written it the other way right so we are saying 2 centimeters is equals to one centimeter or let me rewrite this okay let me just make it simple let me say one centimeter is one centimeter and we'll draw a line five centimeter long okay no problems and here quadrant bearing of how will you read this this has to be read as 40 degrees west of north correct so 40 degrees west of north so that means this is north and that is west so we'll use a protector and make 40 degrees right and once we do that then we draw a line let's say this is our line right now on this line we are choosing a scale of 1 centimeter equals to 1 centimeter and therefore let's say this is our centimeter so 1 2 3 4 let's say this is 5 so that becomes a geometric vector which is going to represent a so here we'll write a equals to 5 centimeter so that is a displacement vector a which is 5 centimeter long right and since the scale is 1 centimeter is 1 centimeter we'll say the magnitude is 5 centimeter and the direction is 40 degrees west of north correct so that is how we do this is north correct so we can write here since I'm doing approximate work, I'm writing down angle right there. So it's absolutely clear. Part C. Part C is, let's try to sketch it here. From south, we are going west, right? So it's force of 10 newtons at a bearing of 10 degrees west of south. 10 degrees west of south. And as you must have done it by now, we are going 10 degrees west of south this is a small deviation and we need to have a scale and let's say our scale is that one centimeter is equal to let's say five newtons right that is our scale let's define the scale now one centimeter is five newtons so therefore two centimeter is going to be 10 newtons so our arrow is going to be of the length of two centimeters and it will point towards this direction this direction is what it says 10 degrees west of south so from west from south we'll move this is south right we'll move 10 degrees towards west let's say this is 10 degrees towards west and 2 centimeter is approximately let us say this much so that is the geometric vector which represents F equals to 10 newtons do you understand that is how we are going to do it and this angle here is 10 degrees correct now tell me how do you read this quadrant bearing angles I found many students not reading it properly it is 10 degrees west of south correct so that is what is meant by quadrant 
bearing angle and that is how it is to be read. The other bearing which you understood is a real or true quadrant. A true. The other one is the true bearing. So when we normally say that the vector is let us say 10 kilometers per hour at the bearing of 230 degrees then we are talking about direction from the north moving clockwise. Remember that this is quadrant bearing. So here we are trying to say how much of in direction it is from north south line and that is quadrant bearing and always quadrant bearing angle will be between 0 to 90 degrees. Remember that, right? I hope with this the concept of quadrant bearing is perfectly clear. And now let's move on and explore more about vectors. Thanks and all the best.